Right, morning folks, we are sat here. We are sat here at the living room table uh, to get a few bits in order before we go anywhere today in terms of the brewery. So uh, for the first time as Harrison's Brewery, we have to send off our beer duty return, an EX46 form, as it is affectionately known in the industry. So, not thinking ahead, I've put that in the envelope, but fortunately, I made a photocopy. So you even have to submit your duty returns if there's nothing on them. You still have to zero rate them. So that's signed, sealed and ready to be delivered. And also this morning I've had a phone call from Mark at Kennett Leasing. He's saying the financing principle has been agreed on the casks. Uh, we had to jump through one or two hoops in terms of sending them the last three months bank statements for the business because we're a start-up essentially and we've had to finance these casks through the brew shed not Harrison's Brewery it makes no difference really to us uh, we'll just pass it directly on to the other company but yeah he's coming over tomorrow at nine o'clock to have a little goosey gander at the unit and uh, a site visit was a requisite of the finance and uh, also to pick up some uh, signed and confirmed ID that we've got to get sorted today so we'll be doing that at some point Stu's coming up here with his hopefully and uh, ooh, I don't know what else we're going to do for the day we'll probably just nip into the unit and check on the fermentation maybe put some dry hops in the blonde if indeed it's ready for that and, uh, and just survey everything make sure it's tickety boo you're stopping there boy Right, off down to the unit, double check on the uh, Shy PA. Right, we're sat outside the uh, accountant's house. Gemma's just gone in there while I just sat here and did a bank transfer on my phone. She's sorting out uh, the ID for these kegs from Crusader, formerly known Crusader, now NDL kegs or something like that. So we've got the relevant paperwork for when Mark from the finance company comes across tomorrow. And then I thought, well, instead of going in there, she's only going to be on another five minutes. So I thought I'd sit here with the AC on, just enjoying the countryside scenery. It's bloody lovely out here. We're in Clarborough, by the way, which is where our accountant lives. A little village about two miles out of Retford. Very peaceful. Oh, we're coming and everything's an eerie silence. It's supposed to be on, though. Well, it's all at temperature, look. 18.9, 18.7, 18.7. This is at minus 9.7. I'm not complaining if everything's working perfectly. It's all working perfect. So what I'm going to do is just check the gravity on the blonde. Have a quick taste and see if we can get the dry hops in. Whoops! Well, we've dry hopped everything. I forgot to get it on camera. I forgot all about the camera until Gemma just passed me it. So, hey ho! Anyway, we're just going to have a quick walk into town, get some tubs and stuff that I need for home, and then home. I said home twice. Home. Which one? One. Yours is that one. Gem, you're not even picking kids up from school yet and you're drinking. Kind of a mother, is she? White balance is way out on this. Here we go. It's coming back to me. Well, <clears throat> five o'clock somewhere, isn't it, sweetie? Oh. That's all we've got for you today. That's it, isn't it? That's it. I'm going to sit in the garden and have a woo-woo. <laughs> And uh, we'll pick up the video tomorrow. Woo woo! Woo woo! Oh God, it's only Monday. What we're gonna be like when Thursday, Friday get around. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's enough. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>